What is going on YouTube? I hope all is well and that you are enjoying your Father's Day weekend. So far, I guess tomorrow's Father's Day for me, but uh, uh, in either case, we're ready to stuff this board here with some uh, with some uh, turrets. Uh, I can already tell you right now I'm going to be short one or two. Um, I guess it's time to stock back up again. Uh, but in either case, I'm going to kind of go through the process of how I do this. Uh, I'm going to try and do some clever editing to speed the process up because once you see me do it once or twice, you've kind of already seen enough. But uh, in either case, uh, in the last video, part one or 8.1 of this video, I guess, or this video series, you could say, I uh, showed you how to make this printout here. Um, the reason it's important is because you need it to be the right size so you can make sure you put these in the right spot. And then what I go ahead and do is I mark where the turrets are with a little red dot. So I go over each one, mark it with a red dot. And this helps me keep track of what's where. Make sure I don't miss anything. So I got that. And we've already got the one installed because I showed uh, there was another video. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description, the doobly doo down there, or uh, maybe even up in the thing up here um, on how to make this little guy right here. This is a clever little tool that makes putting these in so much easier. All right, so now I've got a little red dot where each one of these things are supposed to be. So now I know where they all need to go. So it's at this point just a matter of taking these things and kind of setting them up where they need to go. So for me, I know a lot of them are already kind of where they need to be in regards to certain things. So we'll just put that there like, oh my gosh, it jumped out. Like, fuck you. Just jump out again. I dare you. So obviously you just kind of put them in there like so, all right? And you just line up. So with this guy here, you, well, you're not gonna be able to see it, so we'll move this out of the way. All right, so this guy here, you push up into the, uh, into the, so I have the anvil on the top here. Let's see if you can make it so it's visible here. So the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but whatever. So the anvil's on the top here, and then the stake portion of it, the part that actually squishes things out, is on the bottom. So what I do when I put this thing in is I push it up into it, and as I knock them all out, and as you squeeze this down, you can see there's plenty of room in there. And then on the bottom, it just squeezes it. So when you line it all up, it should just line up like it needs to. Give it a little squeeze. You heard it kind of go poof, and that's that. So what you're left with is a swedged, you got flattened out there. So I'll put one in that isn't mushroomed already. Um, there you go. So you can kind of see what it looks like before and after. If you would focus, you fook. So that's how that works. So. I'm going to get going and doing this. Uh, you'll probably see the sped up video portion of it, but uh, stick with me.
All right, and just like that, you have a turret board uh, with everything all squashed on in there. Um, I want to say that is probably ooh, 100 times faster. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm exaggerating. I want to say if I were to hammer all these in, it'd probably take me 20, 30 minutes to do it, hammering them in with this tool here. I can do it in about five to 10 minutes. Um, I haven't actually checked the elapsed time on this uh, video for it, but uh, um, not very long. Now, if you did it right, obviously, if you were to place this over the top and shine a light down there, you'd be able to see a red dot underneath each one of these. I can tell you right now that it's it's correct. So I am short by one. <laughs> Count at one freaking turret. Um, oops. So we'll come back to that, though. We'll get that taken care of. But uh, hopefully this kind of shows you what you can do. I highly suggest getting a tool like this. Obviously, like I mentioned, you can do this with a drill press. Uh, using it, doing this with a drill press is exactly the same as this guy. I just like this one because it is a kind of a, you know, a hand tool, if you will. Um, it just makes my life a lot easier. So um, I used to do it by, by hammering them in and whatnot. And it was just a pain in the butt. It makes a bunch of racket. And uh, with this one here, I do it at least three times faster with 99% <laughs> less noise and uh, a hell of a lot easier to deal with. But uh, all right, I hope that uh, we'll see you in the, well, okay, now nah, we're not closing this up quite yet. So obviously the next thing to do is to start getting the parts, you know, lined up and ready to be put in here. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.